Hello, this is Adam with Dream Made Productions. This video is made possible by the very kind donations of viewers like you. Thank you. If you are in a position to help this channel improve quality and grow, please visit my Patreon page at www.patreon.com slash dreammadeproductions, linked below. Trogdor was a man, I mean, he was a dragon man, uh, I mean, he was just a dragon, oh. but he was still Trogdor, Trogdor, burn and dating the countryside, burn and dating the peasants. Burning all the people in the thatched roof cottages! Before we get started, for those of you who don't know, Trogtor was a short video back in the day from Home Star Runner. In these videos, a character called Strong Bad, a kind of lucha libre wrestler, would answer emails and all kinds of hilarity would ensue. This was back in the early 2000s, and they were made in flash animation. I remember watching these things before YouTube, back when you had to go to websites and have the embedded QuickTime player. Man, those were the days. You can find Homestar Runner and all of these funny shorts online now here on YouTube. Please go check out his work. It's absolutely hilarious. Now, let's take a look at the origins of Trogdor. Here I go once again with the email. Every week I hope that it's from a female. Oh man, it's not from a female. Hey strong man, can you draw a dragon? I want to see your skills of an artist. Okay. Well, G2G, guys are from California. A dragon? That's easy. Feel free to follow along with my simple step-by-step -step instructions. I make drawing fun. To begin, draw an S for snake or dragon or whatever. Next, we'll draw a more different S. For the head, put a top mark on a long V. Then you add some legs, throw on a couple of arms, and... Whoa! Wait a minute. I think I need to start over. This thing doesn't look natural. Okay, starting again, the same way. S, more different S. Close it up real good at the top for his head, and then, using consummate Vs, give him teeth, spinities, and angry eyebrows. And you can add smoke or fire, or maybe some wings. You know, if he's a wingling dragon. Let's put one of those beefy arms back on him for good measure. That looks really good. Coming out of the back of his neck there. Now he needs a name. How about... Trogdor the Burninator. Oh yeah. Check out all his majesty. There's my dragon, Kaiser. Let's see how the other students are doing. <laughs> Alright. What do you got for me, Coach Z? Take a look there. I think she's looking pretty good. I said consummate Vs. Consummate! Jeez. Guy wouldn't know majesty if it came up and bit him in the face. It happened once. Strong man. You just keep doing your thing, man. Get out of my house! I do what I'm told. Oh, crap. I didn't know you were doing one. Oh, sure. I think I've improved on your methods a bit, too. I employed some Chiara Scuro shading and... I'll improve on your methods. What? That's not an improvement. <laughs> Trogdor strikes again. Trogdor! Trogdor was a man, I mean, he was a dragon man, uh, I mean, he was just a dragon, uh, but he was 
still Tronka! Tronka! Burn and hating the countryside. Burn and hating the peasants. Burn and hating all the people in the thatched roof cottages! Thatched roof cottages! And the truck door comes in the night! Hello. I thought we would take a closer look at Truck Door, the board game. Uh, loved these animated shorts back in the day. Uh, this was... God, probably even before YouTube. I, I seem to remember going on like those embedded video sites to watch the original... Uh, fly. To watch the original Truck Tour videos. Uh, well, uh, Strong Bad videos. Truck Tour was one of the videos anyway. But, um, yeah, that was probably one of the funniest little uh, videos that guy made, at least in my humble opinion. There's a whole bunch of strong bad videos. The uh, rave music one is another hilarious one, but anyway, good good early 2000s humor. Um, I thought this was crazy when I saw this. I picked this up at Walmart. Um, when I first saw it and thought in Walmart, I was just shocked. I was like, really? Because I, I had not seen anything strong bad for god 10 years or something like that um and then to see this at walmart initially uh actually kind of embarrassed to say i passed on it i thought oh this is going to be crap this is going to be some quick cash grab you know but uh i am very happy to say i was mistaken this is a really good game um a lot of fun uh it takes a little bit of time to learn uh, but once you kind of get it down it flows quickly and uh, there's a lot of replay in it with the different uh, ways you can set it up and of course setting it up randomly so uh, let's take a look in here I think this thing was I don't know $20 $25 or something it's one of the reasons I went out and bought it uh, I played it at a convention and just thought wow this is this is really good and then went back to the Walmart and it was less than $30 and I bought it immediately so yeah um, got that great artwork truck tour the burninator on the cover here with his uh, big beefy arm and uh, open up the lid here you have the instruction manual now this instruction manual is awesome it is full of these <laughs> you know pinned in looking notes and in, in jokes built into the rules where they put tape and stuff on it and some of it I guess written by I guess Troctor himself. Uh, one of the funnier jokes is in here is the uh, the end where he says the game either ends in triumph or defeat. He's crossed out defeat and put fiery rage. <laughs> so you know, basic instruction book, but just full of jokes and how to set up the game and different difficulties and stuff. They even have a soundboard for it online. I haven't even tried that. I gotta get that on my phone next time I play with a bunch of people. Turn summary here on the back. Just awesome. Inside you get the uh, truck meter. Uh, this serves as just a place to put two of the minis, a flame helmet and a uh, trog hammer and uh, kind of serves as your hit points. Uh, we'll see that in the video as his hit points go up and down. You get this set of uh, oversized cards. These are the characters that you can be. Uh, they come with the basic set. 
of characters and items. And then there is an additional set in here of characters and items that are sort of like for the advanced rules or to make the game even wackier. The characters that you can be all have an ability and then some kind of thing about them that you're support, supposed to sort of role play as you play the game. Some are more extreme than others. Uh, this one's one of the best ones where Troctor gains wrap around if you're playing him and have this character, but you have to act like uh, he can't understand someone unless they speak in backwards syntax. So think uh, Yoda from Star Wars. The chicken wings to me please pass, that kind of thing. <laughs> and then all of the items that you can start the game with that uh, give you another little ability, they're all pretty funny. Uh, my favorite one is that dog tennis ball thing sept with fireballs. <laughs> uh, the humor in this is great. Next, you have the tiles that make up the board, all with very simple but very effective artwork on it. One side for them being the tile, and then the other side once uh, Troctor burninates the tile. And then all of your boards are, are made with these tiles. They have different special abilities and cards that can do different things on them, depending upon uh, the game that you're playing and what cards you draw. You have uh, the Void card, which I like because uh, it has the Void, and then if you flip it over, instead of having a generic back, it says, also the Void. <laughs> uh, whoever did this had a great sense of humor. And of course, more tiles. There's a ton of these tiles to use. Next up, you have the movement tiles for the NPCs. Uh, this is sort of the basic board game AI for the bad guy. So peasants, it tells you how many peasants have to be on the board. If there aren't enough peasants on the board and there are huts left, then um, you have to spawn them and they move in the direction. Sometimes they will move and repair burninated tiles. So that's really annoying for Troctor. Uh, and then the enemies will follow the path uh, on the movement card. So they kind of, I guess, randomly move around the board. You know, it's impossible to know what movement path you're going to draw, so it's always going to be a surprise. There are, you know, some some patterns to this, but for the most part, you're going to be surprised what the enemies do every time you uh, flip over a card. You have Troctor's action deck. Uh, you have several... Trog Hammers cards. Uh, these are kind of bad things that can be put in the deck that uh, mean that a new enemy shows up and then starts moving around on the board, kind of as a you're running out of time measure. And then all of the different cards for Troctor um, that can give him his action points that let him move and do things on the board and then they all give him some kind of special ability and then some of them have some pretty funny jokes on them. Uh, my personal favorite joke out of the group is, uh, of course now I can't find one in here, consummate V's. <laughs> Uh, that's of course a, a, a joke back to the uh, to the video all of this is based on. Then this retail set, I'm assuming this was a Kickstarter at some point, uh, came with this expansion deck. And honestly, I've never even opened it one of these days. 
I'm gonna pop this baby open and play with it but as you can see everything is in there it's got new rules and new cards change the game up can't tell you much about this because honestly that is the first time I ever opened the box finally you have the minis that came with it for what they are these are pretty minis you have some knights you have the archers back to back so they shoot in in opposite directions with a chance to hit truck door you have trog hammer which is sort of truck tours nemesis truck door himself that one beefy arm on there you have seven peasants a flame helmet to put on a peasant if you burn and ate them and then have them run around the board possibly catching things on fire including each other it's always hilarious and you have three huts and a reversible roof so when it's normal or <laughs> for when you burn and ate it cool minis for a cool game my opinion on this game this is a definite buy if you are a fan of these old videos of the old strong bad videos if you're just looking for a funny game that uh, is a little bit complex but not overly so you can learn it read this and what let's see 13 pages you know one's game information so you know 11 12 pages of which there are plenty of pictures this is a a really fun game to break out and play with some friends uh, it is a great read just from all of the jokes that they put into frankly every part of this game and I'll look it up on Walmart and some other sites and uh, I'll paste a somewhere around in here to show you how much it is now like I said I think I paid maybe $25 for $20 $25 it might have gone up I'm not sure but I'll let you know hello future me here oh yeah this game has definitely gone up I swear I remember paying less than $30 for this thing but oh boy uh, yeah I it's still I still suggest it though it is a fun game and it is quick and easy to learn and it's great for a laugh with your friends. Now, back to me being a dumbass. My suggestion, run out to Walmart or wherever you buy games, see if they got it in stock, order you one. You'll honestly, if you play with some people, you'll get your money out of it the first one or two times you play it. It's absolutely hilarious. All right, guys, thanks for looking at this breakdown, and now on to the battle report. Turn 1. Troctor turns invisible. He burninates the central rocky meadow. He flies northeast, burninating the peasant there. The flaming peasant runs south and west to his friend's farm, but also sets him alight. He runs north and west, burning the countryside as he runs. Amused, Troctor burninates the farm. The roaming peasants move east while the knights search for Troctor, one finding him in the farm. He attacks, but fails to bring down the wingling dragon. The archer investigates the southern farm, but his arrows miss. Turn 2. Troctor enjoys a boost of energy. He burninates the flower field, the mountain forest, and the northern forest, and moves to the caves. 
a peasant scrambles from his hut, and both move west. The knights continue their search for Trogdor. Finding him, he brushes off another puny attack. The archers close in on Trogdor, but shoot in the wrong direction. Turn three. Again, Trogdor surges with power. He burninates the caves, the stumpy meadow, and the first peasant hobble. Another peasant shows up, and they move southeast. The knights and archers search for Trogdor, but they fail to find him. Turn four. Trogtor flips it up, Dan, moving to the northwest hobble, burninating the land, using Dan to burn the areas around him. Another peasant appears, and they flee southwest. The knights and archer again fail to track down Trogdor. Turn five. Troghammer arrives to bolster the search. Trogtor again uses invisibility burninating the countryside and eats one of the peasants, then moves south. Cranji the Keeper uses his legendary that dog tennis ball thing just with fireballs to burninate the northern hovel. The peasants flee, but one runs into the burninated hovel. He burninates himself, running around. He catches his friend alight, who runs to his demise in the burninated countryside. Troghammer leads the knights and archer, but fail to find Trogdor. Turn six. Trogdor would like to smell the daisies, but first he wants a snack, and the peasant will do nicely. Satiated, he then burninates the rock ground before stopping to smell the daisies, then burninating them. The remaining peasant moves north. The knights and archer follow the wrong trail, but Troghammer just misses Troctor. Cranji's magical item recharges. Turn seven. Trogdor likes the smell of daisies so much, he wishes he could smell more. Too bad they are all burninated. So he takes out his disappointment, burninating the mountains, then flies east and burninates the old tree. A new peasant races from the remaining hovel, and they move northwest. The archer and knights fail to find Trogdor, and so does Troghammer. Turn 8. Trogdor uses his power to bend space-time, warping any cave to him. He burninates the cave, the lake, and the southern woods. Cranji uses his unholy... that dog tennis ball thing just with fireballs to burninate the last hobble. The peasants flee south, one right into the fireball. He catches light, running west. He also burninates the last remaining peasant. Trogtor laughs both in his triumph and the amusing way he finished his burnination. Aftermath The dragon Trogdor could not be stopped. He lived up to his title of Burninator after burninating the countryside and indeed burninating the peasants. The hero Troghammer vowed vengeance. It would be a while, but sooner or later the countryside would recover just in time for the dragon man dragon Trogdor to strike again. Hello, this is Adam with Dream Made Productions. Thank you for watching my content. It really means a lot that you have given me the chance to entertain you. If you would like to support the channel, please visit my Patreon at patreon.com slash dreammadeproductions, linked below. Also below is a link for PayPal, or links if you would like to send crypto, if that's more your thing. Please know any amount that you give will be cherished and used to upgrade equipment and improve the channel. You can also help the channel by subscribing, turning on notifications, liking, commenting, and sharing my channel with anyone you think might be interested. Thank you again for watching, and I hope you enjoy the battle reps that are to come.